This guide shows you how to check what the mobile phone signal is like for all four of the major UK networks at a certain location in the UK. So it's handy if you're moving to a different premises and uh, you want to know what the mobile phone signal is going to be like, like the voice signal, the 3G, the 4G, and whether it's got 5G. So this guide shows you how to do that. Now you can do this on a phone, tablet, PC or Mac. All you need to do is open your browser. In this example, I'm going to open up Google Chrome on the PC. And once your browser is open, go to the address bar right at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the very top. Click in it and delete out anything that might be in there. And then you want to type signalchecker.co.uk. That's signalchecker.co.uk, all in lowercase and no spaces. Then press enter or return on your keyboard or tap go on your phone or tablet. Okay, so once it's loaded, you get this screen appear. So when this screen comes up, then all you do is enter the postcode or the place name of where you're going. And uh, let's just, I'm gonna enter in a postcode here. I'm gonna to have to blur this out uh, for security reasons. So I'm just typing in a UK postcode and then I move my mouse over, check mobile signal, left click once, and here we go. If I scroll down the page, so there we go. It tells me in this location that um, on three, you may experience problems indoors on voice calls, but it's okay on outdoor calls. Again, with O2, you may experience problems with indoor calls, but outdoors should be okay. On EE, there's no chance you're gonna make a voice call indoors, but outdoors should be okay. And again, with Vodafone, again, there's no chance you're gonna be able to make a, uh, a call indoors, but outdoors should be okay, good coverage. And again, it gives you um, icons to tell you the signal that you're due to be getting at that location for 3G, 4G and 5G. So in this case, indoors and outdoors on 3 should be getting a good signal coverage for 3G. On O2, indoors, probably not, but outdoors should get good coverage. And the same applies to E and Vodafone as O2. Not very good coverage indoors, but good coverage outdoors. On 4G, it's showing here in this uh, representation that 4G, I should get a good signal on everything apart from Vodafone indoors and 5G doesn't give me any 5G signals in that local area so I won't be able to get 5G where I'm going. You've also got a button here which says see coverage map and this shows you the coverage map for each of the individual mobile providers. Now don't forget if you're on one of the other mobile providers then the chances are that they piggyback off of one of the big four networks. So for instance Smarty piggybacks off of the back of three, Tesco mobile bar piggybacks off of the back of O2, Asda Mobile, Plusnet, and BT Mobile piggyback off of the back of EE, and Voxy, Talk Mobile, Labara Mobile, all piggyback off the back of Vodafone. It's also worth mentioning that in addition to Smarty, ID Mobile, Freedom Pop, and CTRL Mobile also piggyback off the back of three, and GifGaf and Sky Mobile and Leica Mobile also piggyback off of O2 signal. So that basically means that uh, if you're with one of those other networks, then you're gonna get your signal from one of these four masks. So either 3, O2 or EE. It will be the same signal strength as one of the big four. So there you go. I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.